Hey, what's going on everyone? appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Sons of the Forest video. The game just got another huge update, and in this video I'm going to be showcasing everything new within this new update. And I'm also going to be showing y'all how to get all the new things that came in this too. I'm also going to be showing how everything exactly works too, like how you hook up the solar panels. That's one of the new things that came in this update. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of this. If you find this video enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. Just leaving a reminder here in the beginning. So starting off with this video, I'm going to be showing you all the new vehicle that is now in the game. As you can see, it's a freaking unicycle. It's a unicycle. I did not expect this to be added at all. Like, what the heck? Man, the developers have a sense of humor. Like, I expected maybe like a golf cart or something because you see those around in the game, but this? <laughs> a freaking unicycle? What? Yeah. I'll be showing you all how to get this here in a minute, but first, let me go ahead and demonstrate how it rolls. <laughs> all right. Uh, let, let me uh, make it brighter, too. Okay. Oh, wow. Virginia you scared me. What do you think of my new unicycle? Does it have a backup sound effect? <laughs> I did not know that. This is my first time really riding around on it. This is kind of tricky right now. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I'm going out of control. All right, there we go. Getting some control on it, gaining some speed. Yeah. Oh. Looks like, oh, crashed. <laughs> oh, you can't jump off that high or something. All right, here we go, let's try again. Who would have known the protagonist in this game is a unicycle rider? I gotta say, this is tricky. Oh! This would be really tricky to ride in real life, I'll tell you that much. Alright, here we go again. Oh my! Okay, maybe this would be best demonstrated on a beach or something. Alright, so I'm right by the beach. This would be a great moment to actually find out if it saves you from fall damage, too, when riding it. I'm gonna ramp off this cliff here. But first, I want to save it. Which, speaking of going to save it, that's another new feature that was added into the game. You can now delete your saves too, which is definitely beneficial. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go off the side of this cliff. Let's see. Can I take fall damage? Oh, snap. Okay. That just saved me from fall damage, but where did my unicycle go? Oh, there it is. Nice! Well, that confirms that. So, you could jump off high cliffs with this and not take any fall damage. That's good to know. Alright, so now let's test its speed. So, this is about how fast you can get going with it, it seems like. And you could jump with it, too. Oh, that's cool. His arms go out too when you jump. It says jump twice this amount from the night V. Alright, let's do that. Dude, this is sick. You know, I'm kind of curious. Can you shoot while riding this? Yeah, you can. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is epic. I mean, it's funny at the same time, but awesome that we got vehicles now in the game. Anyways, now let me go ahead and show y'all where you can find this bad boy at if you want to take it out for a test spin yourself. Oh no! Virginia! Oh! Dang! She's like a brick wall! Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you can find the Night V uh, vehicle right here on the map. Go ahead and give you guys a good point of view on the map.
And yeah, it'll be located right here by this tent located next to this waterfall. It'll be leaned up against it here. You can also find a winter jacket here too, which just could help you stay warm in the colder areas. But yeah, there you guys have it. That is two features in the game so far. I showed you guys uh, the vehicle and how you could delete your saves now. Now let's go ahead and get into some other things that are in the game. All right, so for this next feature, I'm gonna be getting into these solar panels. They are officially in the game now. Since this new update, these have been highly anticipated to come into the game since the developers teased them a while back within a trailer. And yeah, well, they're now officially in the game. First off, I'm gonna be showing y'all where they're located at, and then I'll be getting into how to use them. They are definitely game changing. But yeah, as you can see, you can find a few where I'm located at on the map. They're actually down around where you find the maintenance key card at. This will require the shovel. And if you don't know how to get the shovel, I'll leave a link in the description to a video guide over how to get it. You're also going to have to have a few other items too. And in that video, I'll be showing y'all how to get all the other items as well, including the shovel. So yeah, feel free to click the link in the description if you are needing help to get the shovel to get down into this bunker. But yeah, once you're down in here, you can find a few solar panels at the end of this hallway. As you can see, there's one. And there's another. How awesome is this? They are officially in the game now. Now let's go ahead and take these back to our base. There's also a few other goodies you can loot down at the end of this hallway too. And the maintenance key card will be in here on the desk. All right, so now I'm gonna be showing y'all how solar panels work. First off, you're gonna to have to get out the solar panels. As you can see, they'll be located up here above the tarps once you get them. Also, you are going to need wires, which you find those from random loot containers, and you're gonna need a light bulb to, you know, connect the wires to add lights in your base. I just made this little pre-made structure just to give y'all an example over how to hook up solar panels. So, yeah, you can find wires and light bulbs inside random loot containers. There are a few random loot containers around where you find a new vehicle at, so you may find the light bulbs and wires that you need around where you go and pick up the new vehicle. But yeah, eventually you will find these. But yeah, once you got the wires and light bulbs, first thing you're gonna have to do is hook the solar panels up wherever you want them to be at. Keep in mind, they are going to be powering your base. So yeah, wherever you put them, you are gonna be having to connect wires to them down to where you're gonna be placing the lights. As you can see, there is a wire that's connected from the solar panels. So once you got the solar panels placed, you now want to use the wire and place them along the frame of your base. And wherever you decide to put your light at is where you want to get the wires to reach. See, I got plenty of wires now connected from my solar panel. Honestly, I don't even need this many to get the electric running. But this is just to give y'all an example over what you can do. Anyways, once you got the wires all set up from your solar panels, you then just want to place the light bulb wherever you want it. Keep in mind, you are going to have to have it connected with the orange wires that you placed. And voila! As you can see, we got power. Let me go ahead and turn it nighttime. Show y'all what it looks like. Boom! How cool is that? We officially have electricity in Sons of the Forest. So neat. Once again, the solar panels have been highly anticipated to come in the game ever since we've seen them within the update. I'm not going to lie, when I was first trying to learn how to hook up these solar panels, I was uh, so confused. So hopefully this is able to help you all get started on your wiring. Okay, so anyways, next up here I want to show you all the new trap. 
that was introduced within this update. So the new trap involves the turtle shell, which you get turtle shells from turtles that you'll find randomly around by water. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory on how to get them. And yeah, in order to make this trap with the turtle shell, all you gotta do is just press B to whip out your guidebook here and then go down to the trap category, which is down here at the bottom tab. Then you just go over within your traps. And as you can see, there's this new trap that was added within this update called the spring trap. And wow, it is super bright right now. Hang on. I'm gonna turn down the brightness just a tad. Okay, let me get back out the book. As you can see, here's what it looks like. So just go ahead and click that and then just set up your spring trap wherever you want it set up at you could have it around your base somewhere or anywhere just place it wherever you want it or you think it'll be most convenient as you can see it's going to require that many sticks and then it's going to require two wires and one turtle shell pretty simple right and once you got it set <laughs> i just used it on myself as you can see You'll go flying. Now let me go ahead and use it on a cannibal. There's a cannibal right there. I'm just going to add some cannibals. There we go. One of you come after me now. Aha! <laughs> oh, I killed him. <laughs> nice. And I can just reset it. Boing! Yes! Now we're in the motion. Boing! <laughs> he was already dead. I just felt like doing that. Such an awesome trap. But yeah, that's how it works, guys. Definitely unique. Alright, so this next feature I'll be showing y'all will be over the night vision goggles that were just added within this big update. One of the locations that I know of where you can discover them at is within the giant cave system that was just added within the last big update. As you can see, it's located right here on the map, in case you don't know. You will find some cultists outside of this cave system, which I don't remember the cultists wearing these flowers last time. This is something also new within this update. But yeah, the night vision goggles will be inside this cave here. So let's go ahead and go on inside. And you can find the goggles by diving down here. This is where you have to go first to get further in the cave. And eventually you'll make your way out on the other side. This is where you'll come out at. There will be some enemies around in this vicinity, so yeah, be wary of that. But I'm going to go ahead and activate the cave light, just so it would be easier to show you all where these night vision goggles are located at in here. This is a console command, by the way, in case you're wondering how did I activate this light. Anyways, the night vision goggles is a little further inside this cave. We're going to have to slide down this. You'll get a little cutscene or whatever of you sliding deep down in this cave. And once you land here, there's no going back now. You're going to have to keep progressing forward. So definitely keep that in mind once you get this far. But yeah, you can find the night vision goggles on this cultist right here down in the cave. It'll be underneath this painting here on the wall, as you can see. This is where you can find them at. So let's go ahead and check these out. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the cave light now. I gotta say, I think they are really handy, especially within caves, as you can see. This is what it looks like. Definitely helps you see better. I'm gonna find some enemies down here. As you can see, there's some enemies. Now I'll go ahead and take these off just to show you how dark it really is down here. See? Yeah, they definitely help out. Especially in the cave systems. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and load a save now and get out of here. Because I don't really need to show you all anything else in here. I just wanted to show you guys where to get the night vision goggles. Because they are a new item 
in the game that you can get from this new update. Alright, anyways, next up here I want to show you all the armor rack. As you can see, here it is. Just go ahead and place it wherever you want. And you build it with a bunch of sticks. Here we go. And then you add duct tape. And then you add whatever armor you want to add to it. I'll go ahead and add a bunch of creepy armor to it. Bam. <laughs> I gotta say, the creepy armor definitely looks creepy. But yeah, that's the new armor rack. And the last thing I wanted to show you all that was added within this update is a new way that you can build stairs and ramps. So, you can now build stairs and ramps against a wall and a beam. This used to not be able to be done like this, so, but yeah. And you can add your stairs like this. But yeah, that's a preview over all of the new features that came in this update. There are also plenty of improvements that came with this update, balance changes, and loads of fixes that came in this update. And there are a few sound changes too. So yeah, definitely a great update done by the developers. I'm not going to read off all the improvements and fixes that came in this. If you are interested in those though, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below to all of those if you want to read them. I just wanted to show you the new things that were added and how they work. Hope you all found this video enjoyable. And if you did, once again, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video. The support is greatly appreciated. I'm out of here though. As always, most importantly, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.